It's, it's free and brought to you by Universal City Walk, LG Mobile Phones, and 97.1, the FM talk station, where the FM stands for. Ow! From Los Angeles, it's the Tom Likas Show. Taste it. And now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. Here we are together again on the radio. It's you and me. And isn't that exciting? I know you're excited. Uh, just thrilled to be here. Just absolutely thrilled to be sitting in this chair. God damn it, I am. You bet. Best job in the world. Best goddamn job in the world. It's the best. I have an email here that says, Dear Tom, I am sick and tired of women and some men constantly espousing this idea of a gentleman. What exactly is this? I recently invited my sister out to lunch. She in turn invited a friend who had recently gone through a breakup and needed some cheering up. After we finished eating and the bill came, I noticed that the friend had not taken any money out of her purse. When I brought this to her attention, she and my sister both stated that if a gentleman goes to dine with two ladies, the gentleman pays. Tom, I have two questions. First, what exactly is a gentleman? And how do we come up with such a stupid concept? And secondly, I constantly hear rules for being a gentleman, but I never hear what ladies are supposed to do. Well, you know what that is. Nothing. Just sit there and be ladies. He says, what is the job of a lady? Maybe some of your female callers might enlighten me. Sign turned off in L.A. Yeah, I'd like to understand that uh, way of thinking. Uh, all right, so uh, <laughs> you invite a um, a woman out, like your sister in this case, uh, to lunch, and she brings a friend of hers, and then the two of them expect the so-called gentleman to pay the bill. What is that all about, and how does that make a man a gentleman? It makes you a fool. When you try to buy a woman a drink, and she says, if you buy one for me, I have to buy one for my friend. Why would you agree to do that? You're an idiot. Because not only should you not have to buy a drink for the chick you're not trying to bag, but you're not getting any with either one of them. Because they're there together going, I'd love to go home with you, but I'm here with my friend, and I can't. Yeah, please, you'd be such an idiot to buy a drink for more than one woman. If you buy for one at all. Stupid. Agreeing to be a gentleman means agreeing that you are um, inferior to a woman. You open the door, she walks through. You get out of the car in the rain, walk around, open her door. What exactly justifies a woman being treated like that in an era when women are claiming equality? Demanding equal pay for equal work? Demanding equal opportunities? Ability to run for president? They have the right to vote? I do not understand why women should be treated as superior in any way, shape, or form. Do you? Tom, Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. You amuse me. Well, thank you so much. I, I love when you're condescending like that. It turns me on. It's the Tom Likas Show on 97.1, the South Bay's FM talk station. 
Gentlemen, thought about trying Viagra? Now it's as easy as a phone call. Order the real Viagra for as little as $6 a dose. That's right, $6 per 50 milligram dose. We'll ask you a few confidential questions pertaining to your health. A doctor will review and approve you, and your Viagra will be shipped right to your door. Call now, 1-800-929-2699, or visit our website at absolutepills.com. That's 1-800-929-2699, or online at absolutepills.com. Try Viagra now. Call Quality Lifestyle, 800-929-2699. It was a test of wills. It was a test of endurance. It was a test of motor oils. Two car engines, one filled with Castor Oil Syntec, the other with the leading 5W30 conventional oil. After days of running under conditions tougher than you'd ever face, the Syntec engine crushed the one with conventional oil like a bug. It sputtered and seized, while the engine with Syntec kept going. Why use just any oil when you can use a real winner? Castor Oil Syntec. Everything else is just motor oil. Just about every day now, people are asking me how they can help improve their vision and their child's vision safely and effectively and without the risk of expensive laser surgery. I'm Dr. Henry Ettinger, and I've been recommending the See Clearly method for two years now, and I'm here to tell you it works. It wasn't long ago that I was beginning to need glasses myself, but using the See Clearly method has kept me out of glasses. The standard approach to vision care has been to buy stronger and stronger glasses as our vision gets worse. However, glasses just treat the symptoms and don't fix the problem. The See Clearly Method is a natural program designed by optometrists who say the program may help you and your children start improving your vision at home safely and effectively. In just minutes a day, you may be seeing clearer, sharper, and better than you ever thought possible. I know. It works for me, and it works for my patients. Call 1-800-639-2020 for your free video on the See Clearly Method. That's 1-800-639-2020. 1-800-639-2020. The Flamingo. Nobody does Vegas like the Flamingo. Why? Practice. What do you think, wild times and barely controlled chaos is easy? No, no. It takes practice. The drinks? Practice. The raucous parties by the pool? Practice. The unrefined, unrestrained, altogether uninhibited fun right at the center of the strip? Practice. Lots. And lots of practice. Man, do we love our practice. The Flamingo. As Vegas as Vegas gets. Call now and book the Flamingo Pool Party Package with room rates from $55. 877-899-9918. Or log on at FlamingoLasVegas.com. 7.1, the FM talk station. Traffic on the ones, the sixes, the threes, the eights, the nines. Hell, it's whatever we feel like it. In Griffith Park, injury wreck right shoulder of the eastbound 134 just before you get to Forest Lawn Drive. Wreck in Westchester, center divider of the northbound 405 just before La Tierra. West Covina, crash along the center divider of the eastbound 10 at Citrus. In Linwood, a big rake is overturned in the right lane of the eastbound 105 connector to the southbound 710. And in Cerritos, an injury crash has sent a car over the side of the southbound 605 at South Street. And an injury wreck is blocking the three left lanes of the eastbound 91 just past Bloomfield. Cal Direct Home Loans, great rates without the wait. Call 1-800-CAL-DIRECT for all your home refinancing needs. Be direct, go direct, buy direct at Cal Direct. 1-800-CAL-DIRECT. Tom Likas returns in 60 seconds on 97.1, the FM Talk Station. Six bottles of champagne, two cases of beer, a jar of mayonnaise. Which celeb demands these things and more backstage at every show? Find out tonight at 8 on Smoking Gun TV, only on Court TV. Hey, we give you more like it than ever before. All right, tell me why he's right. Because I just went gay all of a sudden. Does this guy know how to party or what? On 97.1, the FM talk station. Tom White is Joe. At 1-800-5800-TALK. Lindsay on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. That's Tom. Not much. Um, you're full of crap. Oh How so? Okay, I'm from Texas, and I've dated the scummiest, scummiest scumbags you can ever imagine, but they still open doors for the lady. Why? Because it's not what you're getting during the date, because, yeah, that's our job is to sit there and look pretty and not say much, right? 
our job later is to, you know, give it up at the end of the date. And if and so you're doing, let me understand, you're doing us a favor? No, it's, you know, you know. So why do we owe you a door open? I don't know. It's just how I was raised. I, I don't care. But the fact that you were raised that way doesn't make it right. Some people are raised to burn crosses and join the Ku Klux Klan. Doesn't make it right. I just don't. It's, I, I go out and I see guys treating girls like crap. And not, you know, and it's like I don't mind paying for my own lunch. Big deal. I'm not expecting you to pay for me or to order for me. Why should we do anything for you that you're not expected to do for us? That, you know, I get that from my boyfriend now. He's like, well. And he's right. Why don't you open the door for me? And I'm like, because you're supposed to be a gentleman and he doesn't get it. What does that mean? I don't know. You know what? That meant something in an era when women couldn't vote, women couldn't work, women couldn't go to college. Women couldn't finish high school. Women had to raise the kids. Women had to be home all the time. And you know what? In those days, it made sense. You know, uh, the women had to do all the drudge work, and the man came home after a long day. And, 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 and it was a whole different story. But you know what? Nowadays, women work. Women have equal opportunities. Women go to, more women go to college than men now. It's like, why do we owe you? Well, it's not that you owe me. I mean, if it's if it's so out of date, then why is it still used in other parts of the country, I wonder? Well, you know what? Other parts of the country uh, don't even have ATM cards in the supermarket. You know what? Other parts of the country are not up to date on a lot of things. No, I'm talking like Dallas, like the city. Like, I, it's, it's not in the... I don't care. I don't care what they do in Dallas. I don't live in Dallas. Neither do I. And, and by the way, I don't live in a lot of other cities. I live in Los Angeles. I'm from New York. And you know what? In the, in the 21st century, women do not deserve this kind of treatment. And I think men who do it are fools. So we don't deserve any special treatment? No. No, of course not. And, and I want you to tell me why you do deserve it. Uh, childbearing, I don't know. Childbearing? Life, yeah, I mean. I'll tell you what. When you have my children, get back to me. <laughs> Until think... then, I'm not opening any doors for you. That sucks. Why does it suck? I don't know. I just it, it brings brings me a peace of mind to know that I'm going to go on a date with my boyfriend and he's going to open the door for me. I mean, maybe it's just me. Well, you know what, though? He, even he doesn't like it. And he's right. That's just because he's a whiner. He's, you know, no, it's not because he's a whiner. He's right. Why don't you open the door for him? Because he's the man. It's, what does that mean? If he wants yeah, you know, it's amazing. It's amazing how women love to complain about sexism. And yet, they would make a statement like that. Well, he's the man. I don't complain. So what if he's the man? I don't do it because it's, it's crap. Get so ready to bleep me, man. Brett. You know what? I'm the man. Put my cock in your mouth, okay? Because I'm the man. <laughs> All right? How about that? How about if I said that? How about if I said, turn over and let me ream you because I'm the man? I mean, it's just as preposterous. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thank you. She didn't know what to say about that. Time a man stepped up to the plate and spoke frankly. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Lisa on the Tom Likas show. Hi Tom, it's Lisa. Um, I, I totally agree with you. I think that uh, the concept of a gentleman is archaic, and uh, I'm a feminist, and I I think it's it doesn't make us seem superior when a man acts like a quote-unquote gentleman. As you probably know, Lisa, I am America's original feminist. I, I believe agree. in total equality. I, I know this. That's, That's why, why I believe women should be drafted. <laughs> I believe women should hold the doors open for men as well as holding the doors sure. for women. Sure. And I believe that women should buy the condoms and pay for half of dinner. I agree. Totally. My husband and I have split everything 50-50 for Good. Me. Excellent. Ten years. Very good. <laughs> and uh, I just, I think that, um, I think you're totally on. I think you're right. Well, thank you, Lisa. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Appreciate it. Yes, I'm America's original feminist. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Tess on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tess. I absolutely agree with you. Really? The, uh, you know, women have fought for so long to get equal rights, and then they want this crap. I mean, if you ask, if you ask a guy out, you should be the one paying for him. Well, not only that... Why is it usually that a man has to ask a woman out? I mean, granted, women ask more often than they used to, but still, men have to do most of the asking. Uh, <laughs> and then women expect to have dinner paid for and drinks paid yeah, for? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, if we and then they want equal, equal pay. 
if, if we fought for equal rights, then we should be willing to do exactly what we want them to do, and that includes opening the door. And her talking about childbearing, well, no man ever gave me the power to have children. God did. So, you know, that's a, that's a crappy excuse. Not only that, you're going to have your kids with some other guy, because I'm not having any kids. So uh, you're not doing me any favors. Exactly. Exactly. And I had mine with somebody else. There you go. So she's, she's tell Lindsay she's full of crap. <laughs> she, wants wait, she wants to be waited on hand and foot, and then she's going to bitch and complain yeah. because she's not treated uh, the same way. Sorry. I'm not having kids with you. Why would I, you, why would I have to do you a favor uh, to return the favor for you bearing children for some other guy? Exactly. No, we should be we should be doing the same thing, right. the same thing. If we want to be treated the same, if we want the same job, the same pay, then we should be putting in the same work and the same elbow grease for it. Exactly. Thank you, Ted. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's Amanda on the Tom Likas show. Hey there, Tom. Hey How there. You? Okay, Amanda. I am gonna have to totally agree with you and the lady who was just on. Totally agreeing. Uh, I've been going out with my boyfriend now for about six years in October, and we pamper each other. You know, we don't, we really don't do each other any favors when it comes to, uh, you know, like buying food and stuff like that. You know, he wants something, he buys it. I want something, I buy it. Good. You know, it, of course, there's, you know, your occasional, oh, you know, I bought you something kind right. of Right, as a special treat. Right, yeah. But I don't expect, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, it's always nice. But I don't expect anything special or, and, you know, it gets the same for him. And I'm tired of these prissy women, you know, complaining how they don't get anything in the world and women's rights, yada, yada, yada. And then they expect a man to open a door for them. That's right. So I'm right there with you, Tom. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Appreciate the call. It's Roberta on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, um, I just want to comment on this uh, gentleman thing. I have found that um, there's still a lot of it out there, and and it's not that I'm expecting it. Oh, well, there's just I a lot of don't. pussies out there who uh, are not hip to the jive. <laughs> and um, I, I'm not a feminist. I don't I don't really support the women's movement, you know. And I really feel that there's a lot of things that women just can't be equal to men, you know, as far as you know occupations and stuff like that. But as far as I'm concerned, I really don't think that equality or any of that really has anything to do with the man being a gentleman. Um, I think if a guy's going to do it, you know, he's going to do it because he wants to do it, not because he feels like, you know, like he's beneath a woman or whatever. And like, But why would a man want to do it? That's my question. Well, you know, I mean, like you said, you don't really give a darn, if, you know, if he was raised like that or what. It's, you know, and I've even spoken He's a fool. Any man who does this is a fool. And, you know, and I spoke to a lot of men that they don't even realize that <laughs> we did a lot of the times, you know. And and um, I res I have a lot of respect for men. I really do. And I'm, I respect myself as well. And um, the way I carry myself, you know, I, I don't consider myself prissy or whatever. And you know what? I have opened a lot of doors for men also as well. <laughs> you know, I do for a man, uh, you know, what a man's going to do for me. So if he wants to be a gentleman to me, well, you're damn right, I deserve it, because I treat him with just as much respect. So if he wants to open a door for me, fine, go for it. But I'll open the door for you, too, because I have. Well, at, 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 least you, at least you return the favor, and most women think they shouldn't have to do that. Dan, you're on the Tom Likas show. Huh? How's it going, man? Great. Yeah, I think you're totally wrong. How so? I think that women are like, women were put on this earth to piss men off. They were put on Earth and, uh, to piss men off? Yeah, uh -huh. basically. You know, and uh, they're like children, and you should treat them like this. You have to treat and, women uh, like... You should, open, you should open doors for women, and you should be a gentleman. Why? Why? Yeah. Because you're a man. So? You are a man. Yeah, I'm a man. And I'm equal or be equal to or and better than an anyone. You would put an M16 in a woman's hand and send her up on a line? You bet I would, baby, because I believe women are equal. Just like the feminists say, I agree with them. Well, women, women like I said, women were put on this earth to piss men off, and they're always going to say, well, we want equal rights, we want this, we want that. But basically, you know, they're sort of like children. You should treat them as such. 
I see. So you and, you, and you yeah. You What's don't that? do this because you think it's uh, genteel. You do it because you feel women are like children. Basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're always going to try and uh, piss you off. Why do you? Why do you? Why do you? Why do you? It's how they gain power on you. Why do you reinforce that behavior in women? Because, uh, what's that? Say it again. Why do you believe in reinforcing that kind of behavior in women? Um, well, basically, I rise above it because I'm a man. I would never get into a fist fight with a woman. No, I would never I would expect not. a woman to get out there. And I wouldn't get into a fist fight with I, a woman, but I'll tell would, you what. I would never. She I would can never hold her own doors open. Woman she can tell her to go right Absolutely, there, I would. Oh, of course I would. Are you kidding me? I absolutely would. No doubt about it. Women are equal. That's, you ask them, they'll tell you they're equal. They deserve equal pay and equal opportunities, and I agree. And that's why every year when you have to sign do up for the draft... Do women make as much money as you? They want that. But do they make as much oh, money no, as you? Well, no woman can make as much uh, money as I do, especially doing what uh, I do. I make more than any woman in this business. Now, they're going to stand around, jump around, kiss, moan, and all that. But when it comes right down to it, who's going to make more money? Oh, I know he's huh? going to make more money. And, and you know what? Since I am superior in that respect, I, I should have been more held over for me. Of course I am. You think that you are, well, man. Well, pal, you're, who's calling whom? Stand up and who's walk like a man. In car, who's Open sitting in the a car calling in the me little, in the A little studio. frail 115-pound woman. Oh, Open please. up the damn door for her, I'm man. not opening up yeah. any doors for anybody, and that doesn't make me any less of a man. Believe me. You're a pussy. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. You think so? Yes, I, I think so, and so do most of the guys out there. Jenny on the Tom Likey Show, hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Good. This is my first time calling you. Actually, my first time to any radio station. Mean. Yeah. So you're a virgin, are you? Yes, I am. Really? In that way. Well, it won't hurt, and I won't put it all the way in. Don't worry. Okay, well, I'm going to be very gentle also. Okay. I just have to say, I agree with a lot of the stuff you say. Actually, I like it rough. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> you've got me all flustered. I just want to say that um, I don't think it's that big of a deal to hold open a door for a lady. It, and I think that... Well, it is do... because it implies that you are superior to me. No, it actually, I think that's kind of an insecure point of view on your part. Oh, well, why should I do that for you? To feel like a man. And I, mean, I feel funny. like a man without holding the door open for you. <laughs> Every time so I unzip my fly it. and whip it out, I feel like a man. I don't need uh -huh. a, a door to be held open to, uh, to feel like a man. Um, okay. Well, you're a man. You're the man on the radio, and I'm just a gal calling for my cell phone. You're right about that. <laughs> well, thanks for taking my call. Thanks for keeping, uh, keeping an eye on the world order there, because that truly is the world order. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Anthony on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? Okay, Anthony. I'm, I'm coming from, uh, um, I'm here in Seattle via Texas. And uh, I, I, I grew up in the South where you were supposed to be a gentleman and hold the door for women. But nowadays, Tom, I have found that the women aren't deserving of any kind of gentleman behavior. Have you ever heard some of the mouths on some of the women? Oh, nowadays? I have. Uh, yes, I have. And, uh, and some of the things and their behavior, I mean, they're not deserving of any respect. You if they right. don't treat themselves with respect, why should we show them any more respect than what they deserve? Anthony, I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks a lot for the call. The Tom Likas Show. 97.1. La Estación de Hablar de FM. The FM Talk Station. Foster's presents How to Think Australian. Today's lesson, surfing. In the States, the closer you are to Australia, the better the surf. The West Coast, nice. Hawaii, outstanding. But Australia... Fortunately, you don't always have to fly halfway around the world to experience Australia's best. Foster's. Brewed for a cool, crisp finish, Foster's is never heavy or bitter like other imports. And a bit of the amber nectar really hits the spot after a day of shredding the sickest sets the land of Oz has to offer. Hey, matey, you're not in Kansas anymore. Remember... Think Australian, drink Australian. Foster's, Australian for beer. Imported by Century Importers, Western Virginia. Look for the Foster's 25-ounce big Kahuna bottle at all participating retailers. Foster's is the official sponsor of the ASP North American Surf Tour. You've heard me talk many times about my Lexus LS430. It's my third Lexus sedan in, what, seven years now? But, uh, of course, owning a great Lexus automobile is only part of the story. You want to keep that great feeling that you had when your Lexus was brand new. And that means you need a dealer who's going to baby your car and...
and baby you when you go in there. And that's why I want you to remember Lexus of Cerritos. I not only bought my Lexus at Lexus of Cerritos, I also have my car serviced there regularly. I know the guys. They take great care of my car. It's like brand new when I get it back. I have that incredible Lexus loaner car. When you get your car serviced, you're driving a Lexus even while the car is in the shop. You can't do better than Lexus of Cerritos. Hey, Southern California, the Golden Opportunity sales event is here. Take advantage of low lease payments or finance rates like 1.49% APR limited term financing on select new Lexus models with above average credit. Visit Lexus of Cerritos off the 605 freeway exit South Street or call 866-YES-LEXUS. Lexus of Cerritos is where I got my Lexus. See dealer for details. With SBC Long Distance Service at just five cents a minute, people can stop cutting their long distance calls short. Hello. Mom, things. Good, you. Good, Dad. Dad, good. Dad on diet. Yes and no. Diet not working. Dad cheating. Candy. Candy. Dad hiding candy. Hiding candy. Coat pocket. Found it. Closet. Found it. Under bed. Found it. With no monthly fee, SPC 5 cents a minute long distance is now more affordable than ever. No more cutting your calls short. No more limiting how much you talk. What about garage? Bees found it. Bees found candy. Honey flavored candy. Bees bad. No, bees good. Why bees good? Bees chase Dad. Then why bees good? Good exercise. Good point. Love you. Love you. Go ahead and have the whole conversation. Sign up for just five cents a minute with no monthly fee. Guaranteed. Call one eight seven seven pick sbc For details, visit sbc.com. SBC Long Distance. One more way, we bring it all home. Limited time offer. Rates valid for first 12 months. Thereafter at then current rates. For SBC California residential local service customers only. Excludes calling card calls, taxes, fees, and any universal service funds. Availability and terms can change. Hey, it's me, Heidi, and I want to tell you about an amazing deal that our friends at Consolidated Resorts, that's the home of the beautiful, wonderful, absolutely fantastic five-star resorts in Las Vegas for a very limited time. Check this out. For the first 100 couples that call this number, which I'll give you in just a second, you're going to receive a free trip to Las Vegas. That's four exciting days and three romantic nights at a major Las Vegas resort right on the Strip. It's actually a special gift from Consolidated Resorts just for letting them showcase their newest five-star resort. They're even going to throw in two tickets to one of the hottest shows, and all you have to do is call this number right now, 877-8-FUN-FUN. Call that number and go have the time of your life on Consolidated Resorts and these mini vacations. Normally sell for about 600 bucks, but right now for a limited time, not going to cost you a dime. And all you have to do is call this very easy phone number, 877-8-FUN-FUN. That's 877-8-FUN-FUN. Do keep in mind certain conditions apply. Check out the website for more juicy info at myvegasgetaway.com. Do you need cash? Are you waiting for a commission check or a big payoff but need cash today? Cash call to the rescue. 866-590-CASH. 866-590-CASH. That's the number you call when you need cash or log on to CashCall.com. You don't need collateral. Cash Call will make you a loan based on your track record. We can approve you instantly and wire $10,000 right into your checking account within one business day. We can even get you the cash the same day if you call before 11 a.m. And you can pay it back anytime in days, months, or up to 10 years. Just call 866-590-CASH or log on to CashCall.com. Call today. Cash. Cash tomorrow. Cash call to change. Certain restrictions apply. Not all applicants will qualify. Loans made pursuant to a Department of Corporations California Finance Lender License. Cash call to change. 97.1 BFM Top Station. Sam Rubin. He's great. He's awesome. Uh, I enjoy his hour. Sam Rubin, he's cool because he's completely different. Love him. Somehow that's how I see Sam Rubin, yeah, he's pretty cool too. Weekdays between Howard and the Triplets. The FM Top Station. This is the Tom Likas Show. From Los Angeles at 1 800 5800 Tom. It's your telephone number. What the hell is a gentleman anyway, and why would a guy want to be one? For God's sake. It's Gary on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Okay, Gary. Yeah, listen, just a real quick shot. You know, I used to be one of those gentlemen. Uh, I guess society raised me, I guess you could say. And, you know, I got tired of these women. You hold the door open for them, and they walk in like queens, like is expected. And, uh, and then they don't lay you. Yeah, you know, and they... they they give you. I've had two or three of them give me dirty looks, you know, and it's, you know, 
I, I just got to the point where, you know, after they walked through, if they wouldn't say thanks or anything, you know, I'd say, well, you're welcome. You know, they just turn around and give me a dirty look and keep walking. So I don't do it anymore. I run there first, and I walk right through the door. Good, good. Anyway, that's just all I wanted to say. I, I you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I don't do that anymore. Excellent. I'm proud to hear that, Gary. All right, Tom. Thanks a lot. Now, thank you. It's Paul on the Tom Likas show. How about? Hey, Tom. How you doing? All right, Paul. All right. Uh, I can agree with doing it, but only if they deserve it. They have to earn it. And the thing is, it's free for opening up the doors or anything like that. If it costs you something, you don't do it. But I'll tell you, I'll make an exception to nude women. I'll hold the door open for them. Right. <laughs> but I mean, it, if it's they're being nice to you and. Whatever, you can just go ahead, open the door for him, open the car door, go to the hotel, open the door for him, whatever. It takes you five seconds. Basically, it can distract them. It'll get them off your back for doing anything that might cost you something down the road. If you're polite to them, might, you can basically use that. You can impress them, but you still don't have to spend any money on them. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't waste it. I, I, it. It means you are the inferior and she is the superior, that her vagina has value. That's what it says. And her vagina is no more valuable than my privates. Oh, I agree. But, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be – you don't have to do it every single time. It's just Why do it ever? Well, if you just feel like – I mean, every once uh, in a while. Why would you feel like that? Well, it's nice. It's just like, to me, it's just like, it's nice just to dress up nice once in a while, just to go out on the town and look nice instead of looking like a slut. Yeah, but why would you do something for a woman that you wouldn't do for a man? True, true. But then again, I'm, well, the reason I'm doing this with the woman for something that doesn't cost me anything is to get me something from that woman that I'm not. But, uh, I, 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 I hold that most women don't give it up to you if you're a gentleman anyway. They want nasty guys, bad guys, jerks, a hole, not gentlemen. Well, that's true, but you can use it as a counterpoint. As long, like if you're. I don't want to get it. You know what? You waste your time talking to women. Why do you even waste your time talking to them, for God's sake? Hmm. I mean, waste it's, of it's, your time. It's something you can do once in a while. That's a little surprise. You, it's not something now, you do all the time. Now you know what? There's uh, no return on investment there. Okay. That's that's my opinion. You, you're entitled to do it if you want to, but I don't agree with it. Uh, Tammy, you're on the Town Like His Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Good. I um, listen to you on a fairly regular basis. Keep it up. Yeah, I agree with a lot of what you say, Good. but I think. Um, I kind of have a greater understanding of where you're coming from because you've looked your limitations right in the face. And as a result of not having a whole lot to offer a woman, you've lost your gentlemanly tendency. Oh, yes. Is that what you think? Dear, that because I've got money, power, and fame, I can get any woman I want. I don't have to hold the door open for anybody. But it's meaningless. It has absolutely well, no that Well, maybe it's meaningless to you, but to me, every day is like Sunday. Every day is like, uh, the, the, it's, the, the, the life is wonderful. Well, I, you know, I respect your opinion, and I agree with you completely. I think you're one in a, in a very few number of men who recognizes his limitations and modifies his behavior accordingly. Uh, yes, so well, that's up. really clever. And I must tell you, dear, that uh, you at no time have made a case for treating you like a superior by opening doors for you or getting out of the car and walking around opening a door for you. Yeah, what would, make, what makes you consider, worth all of that, dear? I wouldn't consider your opening a Speaking door. Speaking of limitations, anyway. darling, what, why would you think you're entitled to that? I don't think I'm entitled to that, and certainly your ability to turn a knob and open a door like any... Oh, I can turn a knob and open a door when I'm walking through it, but why would I do it for you? Um, you wouldn't. Why, well, there'd be no good reason to do that, would there? Even if you did, it wouldn't make you... So, you see, you agree with me that there's no good reason to hold doors open for people like you. I agree that there's no good reason for you to hold for anyone. For a woman. Well, there's because no good reason for anyone to do it. In the face, sweetheart. Well, there, and you've said the same thing I four times. Do, is that all the material you have? Do you have any other material? I think it's the point most... Um, so, all, in other words, all you have the ability to do is to repeat the same phrase over I, and over, thinking you're you clever. It, What's that, dear? <laughs> Until you get it, sweetie. Well, dear, you could sit and return, repeat it all you like. I, now, I will never agree with what you're saying, uh -huh. at number one. And number two, listen how clever you think you are. It's fascinating yes, you know. how That's a woman right. with a pea brain like yourself calls in here and thinks up a four-word phrase and continues to repeat it over and over, thinking it's funny. I'm getting ready to open my bedroom door. I'm getting out my vibrator, and I'm giving myself a salute. I'll bet you are, because that's the only way you're going to get one. Yeah, that's the only way. Yeah, where's your boyfriend there, dear? I'm sorry? Where's your boyfriend? 
My boyfriend is actually spending the evening with his children. I'm, I'll see him later, but oh, I'm... Oh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a 36, 22, 36. Oh, please, with I hair coming out of your nipples and uh, missing a front tooth. Oh, my nipples. Blonde, tan, long legs, oh, Please, eyes. dear. G give me a break. Yeah. You are trailer trash from the word go. No. What brand no, of cigarettes not. do you smoke? I don't smoke. Uh -huh. I'm a registered nurse. Tattoos. My bachelor's. Botany. Tattoos. I'm self-supportive. You're you're earning a bachelor's to get 37. What have you been doing the last 16 years? I'm a registered nurse. I see. Did you just say you're earning a bachelor's degree? Uh, RN is not a BSN. Did I'm, you I'm just say you're working. earning a bachelor's degree? No, I said I'm working toward my BSN in nursing. Oh, you're working towards that now. Right. Where are you I going for that? Are you I going to uh, one of those daytime uh, technical institutes like they advertise on daytime TV? Where are you no, going to school? No, actually through the Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, you are, you're I'm a student not... there, are you? Are you matriculated? I'm actually not going to um, argue. You're in not, are you? My IQ quotient. Yeah, you know, you've I'm matriculated in front of your yours. boyfriend. What? It's comparable to yours. Um, What's comparable to mine? My your salary? Family. I doubt it. Yeah, your I intellect? Know. Don't think so. But I salute you for recognizing... Here it comes again. Day. Here it comes again. Day. You're going to say it again. <laughs> Until you get it, baby. There, you could say that to your blue in the face. I'll never acknowledge it, so uh, just keep going. There she hung up. See you next Tuesday, you bitch. What's up, America? This is Britney Spears. And don't worry, the wait is almost over. Because I know you're ready for some football. NFL Kickoff Live, presented by Pepsi Vanilla. Featuring Britney Spears, Aerosmith, Mary J. Blige, and a special performance by Aretha Franklin. Thursday, September 4th on ABC. Followed by the Jets versus the Redskins. Except on the West Coast. Check local listings. Kick it live with me on September 4th. NFL Kickoff Live, presented by Pepsi Vanilla. The not-so-vanilla vanilla. Available in regular and diet everywhere. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. On 97.1 LA FM Talk Station. Out there in the wild, the city never sleeps. On the street, there are no easy choices. On the street, there are no rules. On the street, you can't always tell the difference. Whoa, 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 whoa! Between right and wrong. This summer, don't miss the drama the L.A. Times calls a world-class crime series. Street Time, tonight at 10, 9 central, only on Showtime. Out there in the wild, the city never sleeps. There are only 95 calories in Amstel Light. Technically, that makes it a light beer. But how do you explain Amstel Light tasting like beer when it's only got 95 calories? Is it some freak of nature? Did the beer gods bestow the secret of great tasting light beer on Amstel and no one else? Did the beer fairy wave her magic wand over the brewery? Well, who knows? But there it is, folks, a light beer that tastes like beer. Even if it is just 95 calories. Always satisfying, never watered down. Amstel Light, the beer drinker's light beer. Imported by Amstel USA, White Plains, New York. Introducing Chili's Hawaiian Steak, a fire-grilled top sirloin marinated in Big Island flavors, topped with a tangy ginger citrus glaze, served on grilled fresh pineapple. Want more flavor? Chili's. 97.1, the FM talk station. Oh, man, I don't think you'll be getting home anytime soon in this traffic. There's an injury wreck in Griffith Park along the right shoulder of the eastbound 134 just before Forest Lawn. Wreck in Westchester, center divider of the northbound 405 just before La Tierra. In West Covina, crash along the center divider of the eastbound 10 at Citrus. A wreck in Cerritos has sent a car over the side of the southbound 605 at South Street. Crash in Diamond Bar on the northbound 57 at the 60. And in Bright I reckon the left lane of the northbound 57 at Lambert Road. Your favorite meal deal is back at Arby's. Two chicken sandwiches, three beef and cheddar, or four regular roast beef for only $5. Only at Arby's. You're only 60 seconds away from more Tom Likas on 97.1, the FM talk station. Drum roll, please. Trumpets. You, the big voice announcer. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Get ready. It's the it's Power, power brand, brand Opening, opening sale. sale. Nah, he didn't say grand opening. He said Power Brand Opening Sale. Call Power! 
We're officially introducing Power, the brand to call when buying a car, truck, or van. And this weekend, you can buy just about any vehicle with zero down on select models with approved credit. We're even offering free credit checks because Power has 33 dealerships in SoCal. You now have finance power like never before. Plus, to celebrate our Power launch, you get a Power lunch. Now through September 1st, the first 10,000 families who show up at a Power dealership get a certificate for a free Papa John's pizza. Hurry, get a free Papa John's bed. Better ingredients, better pizza, just for saying hi. Call Power. There's no other brand this grand. Call 1-888-POWER-33 or PowerDirect.com and get your Papa John's pizza on us. You're listening to the Tom Likas Show, which is a pretty clear indication that, yes, you do still have some testosterone left in those man berries. I just want my balls back. What should I do? Listen to him. Like is 97.1, the FM Talk Station. Tom like his show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Stephanie, you're on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hi Tom, how are you? Great. Great. I thought your whole philosophy was about like getting laid with spending the least amount of money possible. Indeed. What's opening a door for somebody? That doesn't help you get laid. In fact, I think most gentlemen don't get laid. I think it's uh, uh, bad guys who get laid, jerks who get laid, a holes who get laid. Gentlemen don't get laid. I mean, I know I'm speaking probably from my own experience, and but I, I would be definitely more inclined to give it up to somebody who treated me nice. Well, you know I, mean? who I, I can me. treat you I nice without that. treating you as a superior. Well, I mean, that's that's another thing. Like, I don't get how opening a door makes somebody superior. Because why superior. wouldn't you open one for someone else? I I get it. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but it's like if somebody makes you so superior, nice. you're the one who deserves the door open, not me. I mean, I, that I, makes you I superior to me. Like, I I don't agree. I just think that if their intention. Why is, is Why do you thing. need a door open for you? I mean, I don't need a door open. For All me. right. Why Why should you have something done for you that you wouldn't do for me? I hear what you're saying. I think so because of chival chivalry and a girl feels special when a guy does. Yeah, but again, why, What that. makes you more special than me? Nothing makes me more That's special. my point, dear. You're not more special than I am, and therefore I shouldn't do anything for you that you wouldn't do for me. But if your intention is just to get laid more quickly... Then no, no, no. Up. You know what, dear? You are the exception of the rule if that's the case, because most women give it up to the jerks. And we talk about that all the time. We give it yeah, up to... I hear you. The, the a-holes, I, I the ones get laid. Nice guys don't yeah. get laid. Nice guys finish last. You know yeah. the deal. Yeah, I do. Yeah, all my girlfriends say jerks and give it up. Well, and I, I hear you. Well, that's my you. point. You think those guys are holding the door open for anybody? Yeah. Yeah, no, they don't. Damn straight. Yeah. So but even even if saying. even if you are an exception, the rule holds. Right. I hear you. No. But that's all I wanted to say. I just think that if, if your intention is to get laid more quickly and opening a door is going to make a girl just fall out of her clothes, do it. Well, put it this way. When I find a girl who merely opened the door for her will uh, make her put out, I'll hold the door open. Right. I haven't met her yet, right. but when right. I do, I'll be sure to hold that door open. Okay. Okay. Don't hold your breath. All right. Bye-bye. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. Steve. Hey, uh, I'm going. I'm just hearing you on the radio here. You know, I think it comes back from the days of chivalry and what have you. I think it ain't about putting the girl ahead of you. Yeah, it is. Make, putting her on a pedestal. I yeah, think it is. it's just the right thing to do. It's a nice. Well, what do you mean it's the right thing to do? According to whom? According to the old school way, I guess. It's just being nice. Really? Well, a lot of things we did old school. You know, uh, in the old days, women didn't have the right to vote. Women did all of the housework. Uh, and uh, women did not go out to work, did not go to college. So if you want to be old school, pal, let's go down the line. Uh, it's interesting how we choose one from column A and one from column B when it comes to deciding what uh, what is old school and what's good and what's not. Uh, you know what? If you like old school, that's fine. That your woman should be home barefoot and pregnant, like in the old school. That's, that's retarded. I don't believe that at all. Oh, that, that part of the old school you don't. So you only believe in certain parts of the old school, but not other parts. I, I understand your opinion, but I think... No, it's no, 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 but answer what I just said, pal. It's a good argument, and I want to hear your response to it. Yeah, I gave you my response. No, you didn't. 
You didn't. I want to know why, if, if old school is so wonderful, why you don't subscribe to the whole curriculum. Because you don't. That's just like why everybody's opinion to everything in life. You don't have to. Oh, stand so in other words, women and, women get to give up all of the inconvenient parts of what it was like to be old school and get all the benefits of what it was like to be old school. I see. That's just like, it's just like buying a car. I see. Buy, so women get equal pay, equal opportunities, equal education. But you should pay for dinner. You should pay for drinks. You should hold doors open. And then when you get married, women tell you, "I want you to pay for everything." But if you think I'm going to make dinner, you're crazy. You got two hands. Do it yourself. And, and you accept that. Well, you're a pussy. No, I don't accept that. Yeah, I've, you, never, I've dated lots of girls. I've never had one of them tell me I have to pay for dinner. Oh, no, they I don't tell you. You just do it because you're a gentleman. Yes, there's nothing yes, wrong with you. Yes, you're a pussy. Look at you. Listen to you. It's Mr. I ran out of logical arguments, so I start using the F word on the air. Isn't that clever? You cracker. You redneck. You cretin. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. How do you marry somebody who doesn't like to go downtown? Uh, I guess the sheer stupidity. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. 97.1 LA's FM Talk Station. Okay, I'm here at the big Volkswagen 2003 clearance event helping people get pumped up to come on down to their Southern California Volkswagen dealer to seize the deal. And I've got a Coach O'Malley on line seven. Go ahead, sir. What can I say? I, I lost my nerves, son. How's that, Coach? I don't have confidence in my game plan. Just not hitting the holes. Not tackling. Come on, this is clearance time. The 2004s are coming in, the 2003s have got to go. So they're offering 0.9% APR on pretty much every fun-to-drive Jetta and Passat GL on the lot. Well, maybe I can... Fourth and goal, O'Malley. Yeah. The ball's on the one-yard line. Okay. Time to hit the hole and seize that deal. All right, I'll do it. Boy, you sure talk like you know the game. I used to play a little fullback. So why don't you get your offense in gear and come on down to the Seize the Deal clearance event at your Southern California Volkswagen dealer and get low 0.9% APR on Jetta and Passat GLs before the 2003s are gone. Because if you don't, you'll be sorry. Offer in September 30, 2003. Call one 800 for details. At just twenty nine ninety five a month, SBC Yahoo DSL is so affordable, everybody's getting it. Hey, what are you doing? Talking to Steve online. You're not typing. Don't need to. We're live voice chatting with our webcams. With SBC Yahoo DSL, you get features like LaunchCast Internet Radio, video chat, and photo sharing for just twenty nine ninety five a month. For 12 months, guaranteed. Why aren't you saying anything? We're having a staring contest. We haven't blinked for an hour. Plus, you get instant credit on your modem in one month of Yahoo Games On Demand Unlimited. Dude, your vision must be getting blurry. Can't see a thing. Why? Well, his chair's empty, and there's a sign on his desk that says, You win. To sign up, visit sbc.com slash sbcyahoo or call 1-866-SBC-YAHOO. SBC Yahoo DSL. One more way, we bring it all home. Residential customers only. One-year term required. Early termination fee applies. DSL Internet by SBC Internet Services. Content by Yahoo. Taxes, installation, shipping, and handling extra. Other restrictions apply. Premium service trial applies to orders placed before 83103. The pros at Instafy have noticed some other lenders are changing their names. Let's see. Warm and Fuzzy Mortgage Muffin. Little Buddy Lender. I got it. YourStateDirectNot.com. <laughs> New names fool some people, but is that what you really want from a lender? Now, Instafy is a name you can trust. When you call 1-800-INSTAFY, you know who you're dealing with and you know what to expect. Reliable service, the lowest rates, and an easy process. Instafy is proud of its record and proud of its name. Instafy, I-N-S-T-A-F-I. Call 1-800-INSTAFY. No upfront fees, no cancellation fees, no surprises, and no identity crisis. Maybe online equity line. Here's a good one. Revise our us. <laughs> Today's low 30-year fixed rate is 5%, APR 5.3%. Loans made are arranged pursuant to a California Department of Corporations Consumer Finance Lenders License. Some points may apply. Equal housing lender. Call 1-800-INSTAFY. InstaFi. Trust the name. Hey, L.A., the revolution is coming September 1st. Are you ready? Is your resume ready? Get prepared for the revolutionary way to find a better job. 97.1, the South Bay's FM talk station. Like a show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Jeff, on the Tom Likas show, hello. 
Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. All right. Hey, I just wanted to say that uh, my it's not really gender based. If I'm walking through a door, and whether it's a you know a lady or a child or a man, I hold the door open, but I don't go out of my way to do it. Mm -hmm. So you don't believe that women should be treated separately? Not separately, no. Distinctly I'm, and you know, if, if as special creatures. No, not at all. Do you hold the door open for anybody? I'll open the door open for anybody. If okay, I'll open. buy in. If you hold the door open for anybody, I'll buy in. But uh, that's not what most people believe in. They, uh, they they believe that a woman should have the door held open for her and that a man can have the door slammed in his face. And I, I guarantee you, we're talking to men tonight who um, they were uh, coming towards a doorway and a woman walked out the door and let the door slam in the man's face. Yeah, and I've come across that. And I, and I will, and, you know, you had a call earlier that said, you know, I, when a lady will walk through the door, if I'm holding it, if I'm walking into the gas station and she just walks through and doesn't say anything, I'll say, well, you're welcome, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't you know, waste my time. You know what? I had to open the door. Yeah. She can open the door. <laughs> Everybody can open. You can open the door. You're right. It says right. push for a reason. Push it. <laughs> You're right. You have a good afternoon, Tom. Hi, right, Jeff. You too. 1-800-5800-TOM. Stephanie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. This is my first time calling on a radio. Uh -huh. And um, I just wanted to say that I think opening a door for a woman doesn't necessarily uh, show that she's better than him. Oh, why, why then should we do it? It, I'm not saying you should do it for everybody. Why should we do it for anybody? If you care about a girl, that it distinguishes that you care about the person. And in mature relationships, well, you know what? When you care about people, you do little things to me. I, I will do the them. same things that they will do for me. Yeah, and a girl should open a door, too. Whoever gets But the most first. of them don't, dear. What? Most women don't. Well, then that, that woman's not a keeper, and she's not the right oh, person. But a guy... Well, that's most of who's out there, Doug. What? That's most of who's out there. <laughs> women who think they are special creatures, whose vaginas have a special and distinct value, and therefore we should hold doors open for them in well, hopes of getting a look at their vagina. It's a guy to do for a girl that he cares about. And if he cares about her and he makes her feel special by uh, doing that, there's no reason not to do it. Just as she's going to do other things for him, like make him feel special. Like what? Like little things that please him, whatever. Women don't do those things anymore. You know, that was wonderful in the 60s or whenever you're thinking about... I look, do little things for my boyfriend all the time. I'm talking about generally speaking, ideas. darling. Most women these days don't make meals for you anymore. They don't do the dishes. They don't do housework. They don't do laundry. They don't do any of the things women used to do in the days when they had doors open for them. And so, therefore, I don't see why that should be done. But for the women who do still do those things, then why shouldn't it be done? Well, again, most don't. Okay, but for those... Who and and by the way, also, in most cases, we're talking about... In most cases, you're talking about mature relationships. In most cases, we're talking about guys who are dating women or guys who are just walking through a door and they see a strange woman. And uh, there are people who believe that men should hold the door open for all women. And you know what? I don't. And most don't. Our email address is my name. It's tom at blowmeuptom.com. Tom and... BlowMeUpTom.com The Tom Likas Show. Now at the Saving Zone, check out a great offer from Jiffy Lube. Get $10 off a one-day admission to Legoland, California. Log on to fmtalkguide.com.